they say if we'll only avoid, avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love it. Hey YouTube, Thief here. First thing I want you to do, uh, if you want me to keep uh, putting content out like this and uh, keep putting info out to uh, the community, go ahead and mash that sub button, all right? Uh, need those subscribers to keep doing this stuff, so if you like me doing this, uh, mash that sub button and, and I'll keep doing uh, stuff uh, that I find interesting with the game or uh, stuff that I, I think that will help out the rating community. Now, I know what you're always, uh, already gonna say, all right? SWOTOR Central just did a video on star parse and he did and it was an awesome video he covered the basics of setting up star parse but i do want to go into some things that i find really cool with star parse all right and uh i'm not going to cover anything that he already covered uh i'm going to go into some stuff that i found out uh with the program going along so uh the first thing uh, that I'm gonna talk about is uh, the timers and he covered on how to um, how to input the timers and how to set the timers up in uh, your system so once again I'm not gonna go over all of the stuff that he went over all right um so on my sniper I use uh, a ballistic dampers uh, timer I use a corrosive dart and a corrosive grenade so just to remind me to uh, when to refresh my dots I also use an entrench timer timer um, but say that you're a streamer or say you don't want all these extra windows uh, on your uh, overlay or on your uh, screen when you're rating. What you can do, and I didn't find this out initially, but um, somebody said it to me on the stream, uh, you can set it up to only tell you the last five seconds of whatever timer you want. So uh, what you do is you open up your settings window in the timers and you come over here to overlays. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this expiring window, all right? And uh, you move this expiring window to wherever you want. I typically either have it right by my raid frame, so it's right center line uh, in my field of view or uh, right below the rate frames. But uh, a good place for it is right in front of your face. So uh, you see it, but you don't have to see the timers all the time. You click on OK. All right, save overlays. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow you to track your timers, but it's not going to be, uh, it doesn't, you don't have to have the timers window open, right? So I've got my timers for entrench, ballistic dampers and all that. Um, so if you can see right here, it'll show the last five seconds of your timers and the timer window doesn't have to be open. So that's a really cool feature. And, uh, like I said, if you don't want to have the timer window open all the time, uh, once again, uh, just open up, uh, star parse, you go to timers settings, you're going to go to overlays and you click on this expiring window. And uh, from there, you can move it, like I said, to anywhere you want on your screen. So that's like a really cool feature uh, about Star Parse. And it, it's kind of hidden. You, you, re you really, without clicking on it or seeing what it is, you really wouldn't know uh, what it is. And uh, uh, I just find that feature really, really cool. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to go into is Raid Hots, but uh, I'm going to have to wait until I get um, some people in Raid, and uh, we'll do that then. So give me a second, and I'll switch over. All right, guys, so the next thing I'm going to go over is Raid Hots. Now, if you haven't used the Raid Hots as a healer, um, you're you're definitely missing out. Um, if you get a chance, uh, get in uh, get into Star Parse and uh, try this Raid Hots out. It's, uh, it's a little bit difficult to set up at first, but once you get it set up, uh, it's just amazing. You really don't have to track your uh, your cultal shells on a Merc or your uh, your probes on a uh, on a uh, operative. Um, the thing is, it, on an operative, it'll have two stacks, and you'll see the raid hots burning off, and uh, it lets you know when to reapply or auto reapply. Um, with uh, the ability that auto reapplies on the operative, I, I can't remember what it is. It's the number two button for me. But uh, like I said, these uh, raid hots, it's it's super awesome. Uh, just part of the program that uh, if you haven't tried it yet, you you've got to try it. it. It's just makes 
tracking your cultal shells a lot easier on a Merc and your uh, your uh, cultal probes on a operative a lot easier. So just the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to interface and you're going to click on uh, raid hots. Now at first this uh, overlay might be locked. All right. So uh, that's raid notes. Uh, this overlay might be locked like this. So what you do is you go come back and you click on lock overlays, and this is gonna allow you to uh, set up your the raid. I guess the raid hots window where you want. All right. So drag that uh, above the raid frame. I only have three in group right now, but just imagine if you will that I had eight people in group. All right, um, once you get this all set up, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to lock overlays. And what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to put a hot on everybody in the group, all right? So Emma, I only got Kalizo and uh, Kalizo and myself here. I don't know where Spliz is at right now. But uh, I put those hots on myself uh, and Kalizo. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Star Parse. I'm gonna unlock those overlays and uh, what you do is you just drag the name uh, to where it, wherever it is in the uh, raid frame. So uh, swap my name with uh, Spliza. Uh, I guess we got a fourth uh, right now. I don't know who that guy is, but <laughs> this uh, this demonstrates that uh, it, it's really frustrating at first to get this stuff set up. Best thing to do is get your eight people in group, and then once they're in group, tell them not to mess with the raid frames, and then uh, pull them down. Uh, pull the names down to wherever they go in place. So uh, I got my hots on, you know, me right now in Kalizo. Now, say for instance you're running a 16 man, uh, you would just extend the raid frames. Uh, sometimes uh, you put a hot on and it won't show up in this window. What you got to do is drag it and it might be over here. You just got to drag this and uh, put it in the appropriate place. So I'm only using four. You can't reduce it to four. The less you can have is eight. Um, so once again, once I get this all set up, I'm just gonna go ahead and click lock overlays and my overlays are locked. And uh, it on a Merc, it's not gonna track your stacks of Cultal Shell, but uh, it is as soon as that, um, that little green button or that green indicator burns off and it's not there anymore, that lets you know to reapply your hots. So from there, you can just reapply your hots and you're good. Once again, uh, do the, if you haven't tried this out as a healer, this is an awesome feature of star parse i like i i can't thank exhale enough to uh for putting together this program because coming up from uh oh, what did it used to be called parsec and like mox this program is like so much more advanced than uh those other uh programs that we used uh rating throughout the years uh, but once again, if you haven't tried it, try uh, expiring timers and uh, raid hots. Uh, once again, I, I talked to uh, Sam over at Soul Tour Central. He said it was all right if I made this video. So uh, uh, if you have questions about setting up star parse, like the basics of uh, setting up star parse, I'm not going to cover any of that. I'll just... Uh, place a uh, link of Sam's video in my description and uh, you can use that link to go over and see him. Once again, smash that sub button. Keep me doing stuff like this, all right? I'm having a lot of fun with YouTube and uh, getting inf information out to the, the community. So uh, uh, once again, this is TC Thief. Later. And they say if they say if we'll only avoid, avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love.